My name is Jelante. Um, on this set, I was the AD. Lame, First AD coming lame. through. Look out the way. I don't like repeating myself, so that's one. And uh, mm. for the most part, everybody knows that. Um, second time, it's not good. Oh, it's no. not. It's not good. It gets pretty ugly, you know. Yeah. After I stop smiling, start looking like this. Mm. You can start counting down. We needed things to get done in a timely manner, so assistant director was the position for me. So I needed to make sure everybody was on schedule, on cue, ain't no plan, you know, and I got experience with that because I got kids or whatnot, you know. I had to get things going, you know what I mean? And uh, get things done in a timely manner, you know, we could be talking and plan and stuff and, you know, lose track of time. And being assistant director is, uh, is an important role, is just keeping everybody on schedule. I'm an entrepreneur, you know, I moved out here, helped my boy out, you know, and um, the rest is history, we here. When I first like got into doing the assistant director, like just going to, just going with the uh, with the schedule and everything, and I was already making notes and didn't even know like like I was making timestamps, didn't even know that was a thing that assistant uh, directors do. Just having that integrity, just keep that integrity, and make sure you're not playing too much, and everybody is, you know, focused. Uh, giving, calling out the cost, like we got six minutes, we got five minutes, uh, twenty till. About how we doing on time? Three minus, about to get y'all answered. Somebody about to get started. Um, even on break, I'm making sure everybody get back on time. Um, yeah, and then that's like a constant. Like even, even through the lunch break, you don't really get a break because you got to make sure that. Everybody is, you know, ready to get back on set within 10 minutes or less. So it's a full grind, that whole eight, nine hours that we on set. You know, you constantly like keeping track of time and just staying on top of everything. Back to back shoot days and you shoot like eight hours back to back and you like constantly on go. Um, I need to find out what my drink is. Like, I don't know if it's gonna be like coffee or energy drinks. I'm trying to figure that out. You gotta have a certain level of focus to just, you know, keep going and execute your job to the fullest. The hardest part, probably breathing with all that smoke in here. You know, that's like the hardest thing. We is hearing a beep. We is outside in front of the building and you just hear a beep. I go closer to the apartment. I'm like, this probably ain't his apartment because nobody in there, but I get closer. And I said, dude, shit, this your apartment. So we go up there. Holy cow. What happened? Fog machine. <laughs> <laughs> Set off the fire alert. This window got opened. I'm the first one in. My instinct is to start fanning, and getting everything out. I almost died. We like I ain't gonna say we got insurance or not, but. Hey, do we got uh, insurance for the company? <laughs> <coughs> no. Just give me two fifty. I'll stop choking right now. Two hundred and fifty thousand. <laughs> we gotta, we gotta get these last couple shots right quick. So just, um, uh, just stay up here. That wasn't, that wasn't. Uh, I actually was scared for my life. Um, I just wanted to know what was the procedure. Like, if something happened, like, who do we call? And the fact that I was the first one in here, that just lets you know that. I'm willing to die behind this, obviously. So when it comes in terms of pay, I should be like second in line to like get that that top tier pay grade. You know what I mean? You gotta get it out. You gotta you gotta direct it. Go this way. Who left the haze machine on? The genius outside. They ain't <laughs> here helping. What happened with the haze machine? I I pressed the on button on accident, and it it went baby on baby in there. <laughs> We have to figure it out, and that just lets you know the hood instincts, man. You never, you gotta be ready. You gotta stay ready. And he brought the right person out here for that, cause who else gonna go on the fire first? Me. Oh, probably when uh, right here when I had front row seats, man. A little cat fight, ain't nothing like an old school cat fight. No, no, no. Action. Can't wait to see how it look on film because it's one thing to see it from behind the camera but after the edits and the color and all the sound get put into it you know it's a whole movie so i can't wait to see how it come out but that was that was lit though that that shit was lit being right there 
We got the director again, the haircut and shit, you know. Do we all get a haircut or, or is it just him? Uh, no, only people with talent. I guess it's just us two, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I met Cornell 2000. I met Cornell 2008. It's Mayberry class. I got to see why he was funny. He had the people. I didn't have the people. I had a couple friends, but he had everybody laughing, including the teachers. There was no competing with that. So he was one of the dudes that could play every sport, football, basketball, track. When basketball didn't work out for him, he came around track. The rest was history, man. We linked like this. We've been friends ever since, man. Like, I'll go over to his house every summer. And we always used to tell him, dude, like, start recording yourself. We, he used to have this flip flown and he would just, like, record himself, stop it, change change it to a whole nother character. And he had this whole dialogue when he would do, like, some Eddie Murphy type shit where he, like, three or four characters, just a whole scene. And he'd be doing that on the flip phone. But to see where he at now, to be honest with you, I'm not surprised because I don't expect him to do nothing less than what he's been doing. Everything that he's ever done, he's done it on top tier level. Any any competition we ever been in, he always came in first. And it comes with natural, it, it does come with natural ability, but it also comes with the work ethic as well. It's been a blessing. It's been like dope just to see the beginning to now. It ain't the end because it's still going, but it's lit, man. And, Probably more to come. What I took away from this that I really want to do, I want to be an AD. I'm doing film school right now, so I'm getting more practice and, you know, in that area. It's just learning, you know, the fundamentals of film and being on set and how things run. I think that really resonated with me better than any other position I experienced so far.